Hello everybody, and welcome back to Stir the Pot TV. Uh, today we have special guest. Uh, she needs no introduction, introduction, introduction. Um, every single video that I've posted in the past two years, the top comment has been, when are we gonna see Victoria on the channel <laughs> it again? It has, that. it has. Without further ado, Victoria Garrett. Let's go everybody. Victoria, what are we making today? Can I call it by their name? Oh. oh. <laughs> that is controversial. We can call it a brookie. We, we could, a brookie. What's a brookie? A, brookie? a brownie yeah, cookie. Brookie. Uh, wait, I think we can do something cooler than that. What okay. about? Wait, what so the proper name is <laughs> Brownie. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, I'm trying to think though, like no, because you can, there was a moment. Um, full disclosure, last year uh, in May of my sophomore year, when you had just started doing your speaking stuff, you had just kind of branched out from USC, and I was miserable. And we went to Wahlburgers. Remember that? Mm -hmm. That was so fun. Of course, I remember and that. And that kind of was like, oh, maybe I, I was like, wow, maybe I should quit lacrosse at that point. Oh, wow. Well, was it the burger or what? No, it was just Victoria, the way, <laughs> the, she was, the way she was talking. You have to understand when you're doing something because you think you're supposed to do it and you should be doing it and your family wants you to do it and you were supposed to do it, or is it time to turn the chapter in your storybook? And that's, I think one of the things I told you was like, it's not giving, it's not quitting. No. It's just moving on. Moving there's, on. there's a lot of respect in that decision. So Absolutely. I'm proud of you. Well, I really appreciate that. Wow, that was a great way to start the episode. <laughs> <laughs> should we call them like shady brownies or like yeah, yeah, suspect yeah, yeah. brown? Like, Sus brownie. Sus brownie. <laughs> Sus, sus brownies. Brownies. Okay, yeah, okay. Really Honestly, great. we're making brownies with cookies in them with Nutella also in them. There's gotta be a name Let's call them ris risque brownies. Yeah, risque Risk brownies. Promiscuous brownies. Promiscuous brownies. Promiscuous I'm brownies. With it. I'm with it. That's the intro. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. Let's go. Um, I have made these my fair share of times. Um, okay. I think we start with the brownie. brownie. Then usually we do the you, like put the cookies and spoonfuls. Actually, we do. Oh, get the merch by the way, everybody! Hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. go brownie. <laughs> then we're gonna go cookie. Then we're gonna go with some Nutella. Okay, great. How do you pronounce uh, the name of that? Oh yeah, what does that read? What does that read? Nutella. Okay, cool. Well, I said noodle as a joke. Oh, did you? I didn't even hear that. Oh yeah. Noodle. Last week we had a we'll big see. debate. Because I would say I say Nutella. Nutella. Oh my gosh, do you say peanut butter or peanut butter? Think about it. Peanut butter. Yeah, so, so wouldn't it be Nutella? Nutella? But they branded it as Nutella. Did they though? Have we ever heard someone audibly pronounce Nutella? Think about it. Think about it. We just say it in Italy. Well, that would be Nutella. Nutella. Uh, it's the same, same It's all thing. the same. We got yeah. Victoria absolutely going in on the brownie mix <laughs> at the moment. Trying. I don't think the fork's gonna really be able to Get With the, sand? the side oh, scrap. Oh, you can, you can dig. Okay. You just gotta dig. Oh, scrap. dig! Just like volleyball! <laughs> yeah, it's a b-ball tournament. I'm really good at it. Why don't we go ahead and roll the clip of me digging? <laughs> the steps going up to that is... I feel like I don't tough. know what I'm doing. Triple chunk. Triple, supreme, supreme triple chunk. So that's what I'm saying. Wow, I've never had this kind before. I like that there's chocolate in the actual brownie. You know, wow, like the nice. chunks. Yeah, this takes a lot of work. That's yeah, something nice. smells really weird. I'm just joking. Yeah, what it's is probably that? probably just something that died in my apartment. It does smell a little funky. I didn't want to put olive oil in the cookies because I'm a little, I'm not nervous about the olive oil, but <laughs> I'm concerned. Okay, I'm gonna do a little salt on top. I love that, a salt. A little, yes. Yeah. Salted. Something salty with something sweet is the perfect It's the best. Thing. Exactly. Like, oh, there's an oven right there. It doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Not a real oven. All right, guys, so Victoria has no idea that we stir the pot on the show. I guess she hasn't seen either of the first two episodes. Are they out? Oh, oh yeah. Oops. Victoria, they are out. They are, they are out. <laughs> okay, out. Katie, me and my last two YouTube videos. <laughs> oh! Maddie has a few questions first. As you guys know, this is the stir the pot portion of the show. Food is currently in the toaster, which is, so smells good. so good. We're gonna get Victoria uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, Maddie. Which will be tough to do. Yeah, well. Mm. Eh. Go ahead. Oh, I'm scared. I Maddie. think we're prefacing this like our questions are like so bad. Maddie, please. Okay, you, well. Will. My I would be shocked if I'm going to get asked something I've never been asked before. Okay. Okay, great. So my well, first... you will be. Yeah, you but... will. Okay. Okay, when did you start YouTube? My senior year of school, and I actually was directly inspired by Katie, who oh. had me in her video. And I gave you a shout out. Yes, okay. and she shouted out my channel, which was coming soon. How much do you listen to like what your viewers, fans, like, don't like, or do you go in your own direction? I would say I've been really fortunate to have a really 
kind following. Mm -hmm. um, the So I, I don't get people saying negative things, like yeah. I don't like this, but I will get people saying, oh, I'd love if you could do a video on this or yeah. a video on this. And usually those things are very in line with what I want to do. What is a false assumption people have about you based on your social media? I don't care what people think in the sense that like, I put myself out there every single day and I get hate comments every single day on TikTok and that's fine. But I've never outwardly put up a post that's like, what are your assumptions about me? I'm making a video. Like that sounds terrible. Sounds I'm yeah, running yeah, yeah. the other way. <laughs> I would never do that. I, I saw that trend too. And I never, I was like, there's I no never, way. There's I would no never way. invite that. Like it's no. fine if I see it in the comments and I scroll past it and I handle it my own way. Yeah. Because we're at a point mentally where if we see it in the comments, it's like, all right, yeah, I can move past that. Yeah. But I would never openly welcome people to like, to basically their, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Actually, I think people would look at maybe my page or my energy and think this girl must be super popular and have tons of friends. And I actually don't feel that way. Um, I feel like I have a f I have, well, I have three like best, best friends. Like people forget being popular is overwhelming and not that fun. Like yeah, I like to be, I like to think popular. of myself as like the popular loner. I have a lot of people that I well, am you're, friends with, I bet you're like me where but I'm like a loner. Max in his absolute prime, okay, mm -hmm. of football. Just Sorry. Wait, if we're asking Stir the Pot questions about Max's football, I might cry, but keep going. No, no, it's not about Max's football. Okay. Why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know. It's called Stir the Pot. Max is in his absolute prime. He's gunslinging out there. And you are in your prime of volleyball. Who was the better athlete? Mm. <laughs> I hate this question. It's mm. a no brainer, Max Brown. He was Gatorade Player of the Year at his prime in high school. Yeah, but and you were the all time top five leader, in, or you're the all time leader. I, and I was top five at Diggs at USC. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite YouTuber with the initials KD? <laughs> Katie DeFeo. Oh my God, thank you so much. Is my Real Pod episode still the most listened to ever? In my top like five? I actually don't have the numbers anymore because it's now with Dear Media, so they do the back oh, end. Mm. But I I know when Where I- are the numbers? <laughs> I know when I handed it off, you were like Jeff's top seven. Oh, list. wow, tough. All right. <laughs> uh, what was the best moment of your life? Your entire life, what was the one best moment of your entire life? What? I know, and you can't say being born. We ruled that out last week. <laughs> the answer's canceled. The best <laughs> moment yeah, completely of my from the show. life. Um, I have three answers. For me or you? No, for me. I don't know your life. Uh, the first was when I beat Old Mill in basketball in my high school senior year. That was obviously the best moment of my entire life. The second was when I uh, first heard the song Pick Up the Phone by Quavo, mm. Young Thug, and Travis Scott. That was one of the best moments of your life. That was the top three best moment of my life. Why? Wow. It, unlo it like unlocked. It was like when, it, it was like that scene in Ratatouille when Ratatouille eats the food and like you see all the like flavors popping around in his head. Mm. That's what it was like for me, but with like music. To this date, life changing day of my life was the day I delivered a TED talk. Yes, that's amazing. It's perfect. I love it, gooey. It's, oh wow, that's. Oh really my god. I mean, either way, I think it's just. I think. What is that? Should we not eat? <laughs> Wait, like, li how do we? Just, all like, right, everybody. How do we describe the smell? Where is it coming from? I love to figure this stuff out. Um, no, like, yeah, get in the craft because okay. you'll, you'll. It's olive oil. I think you should still try it. It's not. It's not expired. I can't. Allegedly, the olive oil might be expired. It's not expired, but maybe it got left out or something. I don't it's even not, know how though. that works. It's not, which is weird. Um, it smells sus inside of these sus brownies. Um, Let's describe the smell because you're probably wondering, like. It's not rotten. No. It it's, smells like a sour metal. It's sour metal, yeah. Sour, like, it's like, it does smell like a Oh, oh man. I, I'm gonna stand with my celiac friend and no, I'm not no, eating. feel bad. Standing with my celiac. Guys, it's cause it's- Wait, I'm about to make a speech. Garlic flavored olive oil. Ew. Oh. 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 Ew. That's why it smells like garlic. How did no one notice the picture? That is the show. <laughs> I'm not. Try Maddie, no. What I feel like this vlog is gonna be like, so like, just like, I feel like people watching are gonna just feel some type of way the whole time, like not the best way. <laughs> they're gonna be like they're so feel, awkward and then like it's feel... That's the point though. So, all right guys. In a good way, in a good way. It's been we three- We love uncomfortability. Yes, it's been three episodes. The first episode we made breakfast. We made breakfast. Am food, I the right? worst of everyone? Yeah, everyone... we made your quiche and stuff. Yeah, you episode know, Matt got scratched. We did. Oh, we made. Oh yeah, first TikTok. episode. First episode we made TikTok recipes. None of them went as planned. Um, ep second episode we made breakfast with Jonah Matthews. That, was, that was decent. You can't really mess that up. And today we attempted to make brownies, cookies, and Nutella with mm. Spanish garlic olive oil. So that didn't go as planned. I'm not eating it. Victoria's not eating it. Maddie can't eat it. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's episode three of Stir the Pot so TV. This cooking show is going super well. super super well. Out like a light, hey, uh, like a light, hey, uh, like a light, hey, slept through the flight, hey.